There you go, guys. Powell Peralta Bones Brigade Series 11 Natural Tommy Guerrero. So, if you're wondering if I always wear, this, wear the same clothes, no, I'm gonna run through a few different uh, decks today. Um, as I mentioned with the McGill deck, I'm gonna be selling a few of these just to make some room for some more decks. And so I just wanted to give a quick review though if people are looking for these decks, um, just the size, you know, and uh, just to get a good visual of what they look like, um, you know, before they would entertain buying them. <clears throat> So this is a pretty rad deck. Obviously, it's got the dragon top on it here. Um, it does have the copyright, so it's easily identifiable that it's a reissue, uh, 2019. Um, and if so, if somebody's trying to pawn one off as a, an original deck, you can quickly tell just by looking at that. Um, down here, you can see that the graphics from 1986. Uh, the artist, this is his trademark up here. Uh, you can find his information online. He did a lot of the um, Powell decks back in the day, especially the Bones Brigade series decks. Um, but this is just such a rad deck. So with this one, um, it was hard for me to actually, about a year ago I started uh, just really wanting to build out a collection of Bones Brigade just because obviously they're you know, so influential from back in the 80s. And I, I was looking to complete a, a set, so I had the the Blue Hawk up there, I had this blue um, Bats and Bones street cab that's over here as well. And uh, I needed to get a few other decks. And so I started looking though and everything from the previous series were so expensive because they're all limited runs. And so it's hard to get your hands on these decks. And so I managed to find this one in a store. Um, unfortunately, they had already pitched out the wrapping um, and they're, they had it mounted. So there is a a little mark on the top. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get the light on it a bit, but there's a little scratch mark up here, probably from them trying to put it on and going, oh, where's the screw mount? <laughs> anyway, it's a little annoying, but I was super excited. I mean, I'm out them this way. I do have some de decks that I'm skating, um, but these ones I just wanted to get mounted on a wall. Uh, again, for me, and I talked about this in other videos, but there's just so many good memories associated with these decks and my friends that had them and just that time. And so I'm just putting memories up on the wall that look really stellar. And I'm getting old, so it's a nice reminder when I walk into the room of, you know, where and when I came from and who my friends were again and stuff um, and what I was doing as a kid. So anyways, uh, I'll go over a few of the specs here. This is stuff that you can find on the Bones Brigade series website. Sorry, I am not sponsored by, you know, anything that you're seeing in this room, including my little iPhone here. Um, but this this deck shape is the SP3198. So for some people, that's going to mean a lot. Essentially, this is what the shape is. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the width is 9.6. Um, the length is 29.18. The nose is 2.93, so it's a really short nose on there. Uh, we have a wheelbase of 15 inches, and the tail is 6.25. So the funny thing about uh, the Guerrero is that uh, he was brought onto the team as the first real street skater, and it's awesome because there's like next to no concave on this deck. And so in the 80s, there wasn't a lot of concave, but out of all of the Bones Brigade series, well, I shouldn't say that the, I mean, obviously the Mullen is pretty flat minus the kick. Um, the Lance Mountains are pretty flat, but I think this deck is even flatter uh, concave than the Lance Mountain. So, you know, he came onto the team with one of the flattest concaves as a street rider. Um, but anyway, such a rad deck. And, and again, like these, this natural finish I wasn't big on. Um, being from the 80s, I love things that pop. I love the different colors and, you know, whether you're talking skateboards or BMXs, you're thinking bright pinks and blues and whatever else. Um, so the natural stain for me didn't do a lot. Um, but this graphic on here in the blue and red looks awesome. So I was pretty stoked on this. Um, but again, like for me with these naturals, it was one of those things that I was going to use it as a placeholder until I could get something that had a little more color. 
And so right now that's the Bones Brigade series uh, 12 decks, which look amazing. Uh, they look really good. Um, so again, when you buy these things new, what you get with it is the plastic. You get this little Skate One uh, warranty card. And then you also get the uh, Bones Brigade Rider card. And so this is awesome from just a collection standpoint. A lot of guys will just mount these up in a frame. Um, but it gives you some information. You guys can pause that and read that if you want. Uh, but it also shows you down here, these boards are limited. Um, so this deck, there's only a thousand of them made and this one was 314 <coughs> of a thousand. And so it is a little bit difficult to get your hands on these things. Um, but if you can, I would encourage you to. This thing looks amazing in person. Uh, the online pitches don't do it any justice. Um, if you find when you're lucky and uh, you know, hang on to it unless you're interested in one of the other colorways. Or if you've got piles of money sitting around, buy them and hang on to them and have a bunch of different colorways. That looks rad as well. Cool, again, so there it is. The Tommy Guerrero 2011, sorry, Series 11. Uh, 2019 um, edition. All right, cheers guys.